Hi again, I'm Miss Marsha and this is Emma and we're back again with a very, very interesting artist today. His name is Georges Brock. He was a French artist and what he's most famous for is being a cubist artist. Now let me explain what cubism is and then we'll take a look at his pictures. Okay, what a cubist artist does is he or she looks at different objects takes them apart in their mind, or cuts them up if you're doing a collage, and then reassembles them in a different order, either on angles or all kinds of uh, different ways to make them not necessarily look realistic. Okay, the first thing I want to show you are the samples that Emma and I made of some of Brock's work that we interpreted. Okay, the first one, we have a guitar and we have a piano, some musical notes um, on the paper. The second one, we have the same things, just arranged a little bit differently. So basically, the way you arrange your Brock picture will be very different and very unique just to you. Okay, so now we are ready to start. So let me go over our supply list again while Emma starts to make a piano. Okay, what you're gonna need, first of all, is some kind of background paper. I glued this onto a piece of cardboard. I think it makes it a little sturdy. And if you have any cardboard in your house from either a cereal box or a package that mom or dad got, it's a good background for your construction paper. The next thing you're gonna need are any paper scraps that you have at home, any different colors. I have blues, grays, tans, because he, he tended to work more in that area. None of the vibrant, bright, bright colors like the pinks or the reds. You're gonna need some string, either white, black. If you don't have string, you can always use pipe cleaners. You can even use rubber bands cut up. So whatever you have in the house will work very well for making your Brock picture. The next thing you're gonna need is just a plain piece of white paper to make your guitar pattern. And that's a piece of paper folded in half. And that's about it for supplies. Okay, so we are ready to begin. Okay, Emma's gonna hold up her piano that she's making. And this is something very easily made with just a piece of construction paper and a black Sharpie. And when you look at a piano, the notes are gathered in threes. The black notes are either threes, then twos, threes, then twos. So she's making it realistic, but still it's going to uh, be very cubist when we get done cutting it up. Okay, so this is Emma's piano. Okay, the other thing that Emma made before, before we started, is she made a chair for whoever is playing the piano or guitar that we're going to make. They can sit on this. She also made a piano bench, so you have a choice. You can either be sitting on a chair or a bench. Okay, now for our guitar, we're kind of jumping ahead and then we'll backtrack a little bit. We start out with the body of the guitar. Now, if you're saying to yourself, I don't know how to draw a guitar, I think you really do know how. Because if you can make the number three on a folded paper, this is the fold, and then take a scissor and cut it out, you'll be very surprised to see that you kind of get a guitar shape. It doesn't have to be a, you know, exactly the way a guitar looks, but it'll be pretty close. And that's our guitar. Okay, next thing. Now, Emma's a musician, so we have paper in our house that has a lot of musical notes and lines and spaces and all that stuff. These are some pieces of it that we've cut up. Whoops, and that's fallen down. But if you don't have a musician in your house, you can make your own musical paper. To make your own musical paper, all you need to do is get a white piece of paper and draw five lines, okay? When, if you get done drawing the five lines, you'll see you end up with four spaces. And that's where you start to put your musical notes in. They don't have to be, again, exactly musical the way that you see them on um, music paper, but just something that represents the music notes. 
We're going to be cutting up the music to make it look cubist anyhow, so however you do the notes will be just perfect. I just wanted to show you a close-up of the piano chair or bench, just so you can see how Emma made them. They're basically square papers cut out. One of them has the center cut out, one of them has the center cut out, and a back attached, that's the chair. And that's gonna be in our Brock collage. Okay, now we're ready to start our Brock collage. And I'm always so glad to have Emma helping me. We work well together, and we're gonna do this as the dynamic duo. First thing Emma's gonna do is cut up the guitar any way she would like and she's gonna glue it onto the paper. After she glues it on, we'll hold it up to show you, so that way you can see how she interpreted her cubist picture. So she cut the, cut the guitar in half, and now she's just gonna glue it on. Another nice thing is if you do find some cardboard that's more than one layer, you can peel back a little bit of it, and it gives a little interesting texture to the cardboard. So that's another um, nice thing to do if you find cardboard from a box. Okay, so she's putting on one half of the guitar and then I think she's gonna put on the second half of the guitar. Okay, so after we have the two parts of the guitar glued on, we're ready to move on to the neck. While Emma's putting glue on the neck, I'll just hold this up to show you that she has her guitar just with a piece in the middle um, that's empty where she doesn't have the guitar attached. And again, that's her choice. She's the artist making this. So any way she would like to do it is absolutely perfect. Okay, so we glued on the neck. And the next thing I think we'll work on is the sound hole. And the sound hole is just a round part of the guitar. You'll see the strings go over it. Looks like a big circle. And that's our next thing to glue on. Okay, so she, she cut the circle out of, um, actually out of paint samples, because they were kind of a nice color, a nice texture. So she's putting on the sound hole next, any place she would like. Okay, so we're basically building the whole guitar first before we get on to the next musical instrument. Okay, and the next thing that we're gonna glue on are called the tuning pegs. When you see a guitar, you see those things sticking out up at the top, those are called the tuning pegs. So we just cut some out of construction paper and she's gonna glue on the tuning pegs and then we're gonna be ready to go on to our next musical instrument. So as you can see, they don't have to be glued on exactly straight, they can be on angles, they don't have to be on the top, they can really be any place you would like them to be because it's your work and it's your interpretation of Brock. So she's gluing on, let's see how many she glues on, two, up oh, three. She's gluing on three tuning pegs, which sounds very good. Okay, the next step after the tuning pegs is we'll go on to our next musical instrument, and that's going to be the piano. So we have one piano that was made with Sharpie and lines. And we have one piano that was made with cut out construction paper. So I'm gonna cut my piano up and she'll cut her piano up and we'll see how they look. I'm gonna glue mine on, Emma's gonna glue hers on and then we'll, we'll see how it looks. So I think I'll put mine on the bottom. And let's see where you're gonna put yours. Okay, so gluing on the piano is the second step. That's our latest musical instrument we're gonna put on our Brock collage. I'm gonna put mine on the side. Another thing you can do is if you run out of room on your paper, it can come off your paper onto your cardboard. Okay, so that's, uh, you know, there's no real boundaries with this. Okay, now while Emma is gluing on the piano, I'm gonna decide that I want a chair on my picture. We had a choice of a chair or a bench. I'm gonna take a chair and I'm gonna cut up my chair a little bit and I'm gonna glue my chair on. 
it on my chair. It's not going to exactly look like a chair when I get done. It's going to look like, uh, well, it's going to look different, very different from making it cubist. Part of their idea was they thought if they cut all of these things up and put them on paper, it would look, it's going to look more three-dimensional than flat than two-dimensional. So again, that's up to your interpretation. Next thing we're putting on, little bits of newspaper, just to give it a little interest in the background. And while I'm putting on the newspaper, Emma's gonna take some of our homemade music paper and cut that up so she can put that on. So I'm putting my newspaper sort of in different spots. She's cutting up the musical notes. I'm going to put another piece of newspaper on. And again, all these things are just to give it a little texture, a little interest. The newspaper doesn't have to have the words going the right way. They can be upside down. And then when she's done gluing her homemade musical paper on, we'll show you how everything looks. We'll move all the stuff out of the way so you can see it clearly. And it's a very interesting collage so far. I think Brock would like it very much. So this is our collage and she has these mu musical notes cut in a diagonal and our pianos are around, um, our guitar with all of its pieces. The only thing we didn't put on this so far is a window. So we have a window already cut and we're gonna glue this on. Let's see if we can find some space to glue it on. So we'll put the window maybe over here, even off to the side a little bit. And then I'm gonna take some blue and make a window curtain. We're taking a lot of artistic license, but that's what the Cubists did. They took a lot of artistic license. So it's kind of fun to be able to create things and not have them necessarily look like them. And you know what, to balance it out, because I've got this intense blue here, I'm gonna put some on the other side, and then I'll show it to you when we're all done. Okay, so this is our collage that we made. But let's see, it's missing something still, and I think it's missing the part that makes it look the best. Missing the strings. What's a guitar without strings? Right, Em? Yeah. Okay, what could, what could a guitar be without strings? So, I cut some black strings out. You can use white, you can use pipe cleaner, and you can do the honors of putting the glue down. And these strings are about six inches long, anywhere you would like them. And then we'll add the strings. So let's see how it's gonna look with the strings, which is actually my favorite part of the collage. And then we'll, we'll hold this up for you to see, and we'll also take a close-up. So you can see our finished collage. Okay, so Mr. Brock must have had a lot of fun making all of his paintings and collages, because you can really make it any way that you'd like. The instruments are still recognizable. When you hold this up, you'll still know that it's a guitar and a piano. You'll still, still see the guitar strings. So it's kind of a fun way to do art. The Cubists got a little bit radical after a while, and some of their things were very unrecognizable. But in the early stages of Cubism, you could still tell what everything was. So it was a, it's a fun collage to make and I hope you enjoy making it. And we're gonna hold this up very shortly so you can see everything. This is our interpretation of a Brock picture. We named it guitar, piano, and chair, because those are the items that we put in it, along with some other background things. We hope you'll enjoy making this at home, and we want you to be safe, be well, and we both look forward to seeing you soon. Bye now.